Welcome to part 8 in the acid-base tutorial series. Um, this will focus on the um, physiological effects of pH on the functional groups we're learning about. Let's get started. Alrighty, so cellular pH, right? It's going to be pH 7.4. So this pH um, is for, for carboxylic acids and amines, this pH is slightly basic. Or it's a, it, this pH creates a slightly basic environment. So everything in chemistry is relative though. So for amines though, because amines are weak bases, so pH 7.4 for amines is slightly acidic. Okay, so cellular pH doesn't change. It's 7.4, but that environment, different functional groups experience that environment differently. And so whenever we're looking at reactions occurring at, in, um, at cellular pH or physiological pH, we need to be aware of this important acid-base chemistry. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so first we'll focus on the carboxylic acids and the esters, right? These are weak acids. So pH 7.4 is slightly, slightly basic for them. So we've learned about our carboxylic acids having this form here and our phosphate esters are here. Okay, so because these are weak acids and physiological pH 7.4 is slightly basic, the carboxylic acids and the phosphate esters lose these protons. They lose H plus here and here. So the, but remember that they're weak, so it's always at equilibrium. So we'll, but the convention, when we look at molecules in a biochemical context, is when we see a carboxylic acid, we'll see it drawn as the carboxylate. And when we have a phosphate ester, we'll see it drawn as the organic phosphate. So this is how you'll see them. Um, when they're drawn at physiological pH. Amines, on the other hand, are weak bases. So pH 7.4 is a slightly acidic environment. So if we look at our amines, we tend to think about them in their neutral form. However, they become protonated at physiological pH and so we'll draw, right, so there's the H plus, right, that lone pair on the nitrogen forms a bond with the protons floating around. And the other way to draw this would simply be this way. All right, so at physiological pH, we will expect to see the carboxylate and phosphate esters as anions, and we will see amines as ammonium ions. Make sure, right, to distinguish between amines and amides, right? So these are the only three groups where we have to worry about the um, cellular effects of physiological pH. And then why is this important? Well, the ionized forms are important to our health because the charges enable these groups to bind to enzymes, chemically react, or the charge enables them to stay inside the cell because the cell membranes are nonpolar. So we'll, this is, I just want to give you a context for where this um, knowledge will be useful to apply as wisdom. Um, and then just uh, additionally, many medical conditions, kidney disease, stroke, exposure to poisons, 
can raise or lower the pH within the cell. And so now we can recognize that um, if we have changes in the pH, that can disrupt the cell function by causing these key molecules or key functional groups within the molecules to change from their neutral to their ionized state or vice versa. Alrighty, so that concludes this brief tutorial on um, the effects of physiological pH on some key functional groups. Please take some time now to work a few homework problems to reinforce your understanding.